We all hate doing boring, repetitive tasks over and over and over again. I have a saying, if you do a task more than once and it's exactly the same each time you do it, then it should be automated. I've automated thousands of tasks in my online business. In this video, I'm going to explain what Zapier is and give you an example of how to use it. What you can automate with Zapier is almost limitless. The way I explain Zapier to someone who's never used it before or who is not familiar with automation tools is imagine you have a form on your website. You've seen those before, a contact form where people put in their name, email and a message. Then let's imagine on the other side you have a sales platform, a sales app. Let's use the example of Pipedrive. It's a really common one. That's what we use. And what you want is for the information that comes through your contact form to appear in your sales management app and to have a few things happen to it along the way. Now, of course, these two apps don't speak to each other naturally. Let's imagine that the contact form speaks French and let's say that your sales CRM speaks Spanish. Zapier is the translator. Another way of looking at it is when you go on holiday and you buy one of those little travel adapters so that you can plug in your toothbrush. That's another way of looking at Zapier. It's an adapter. Zapier will actually walk you through the process of connecting the two apps and automating something. They'll even have common Zap, so things people use all the time, and they'll show you those on their website. So this is the Zapier website, and as you can see, they have these examples here, automate your to-do list, team updates, social posts, all these different functions that it can do for you. They show an example here, when I get a new lead, for example, let my team know know about it, create a new deal in my CRM, which is what we've just been talking about. We've got about 5,000 plus apps. You can connect most things that you can think of using Zapier. So once you're logged into your Zapier account, if you go ahead and go to explore, what you'll find here are some of your most popular Zaps that I was talking about earlier. And here are some examples. And then you can find common app basically and start from there. There's also these templates. So a new type form response will go into Google Sheets, send a new email and you get a lead on Facebook. A lot of these common zaps that you get are all already done for you and you can just use one of the templates. As Zapier puts it here, it's a way to handle repetitive tasks that you do day in and day out and it can just automate it for you. The next thing I'm going to do is show you an example so you can really get a feel for what Zapier can do. The problem we had as a business is that people would pay us via a bank transfer into our bank account. Now, I needed to notify the team, so the team of people who work for me, that we had received this money. This created a repetitive task where I had to log into the bank account several times a day, look to see if there had been any new payments, and then go and manually message someone and say, hey Kim, yes, we have received a payment from this customer. That was, of course, incredibly boring and it took up a lot of time. So what I did instead is I took our accounting application, which is called X0, and I took Slack, which is the message app where we message each other and the team messages each other, and I connected them using Zapier. So what I said is, hey, every time we get a new payment and we get a notification that payment on X0, send that notification automatically to Slack and notify the team there's been a new payment. So this is, of course, immediately saved me hours of work every week, just logging in, checking the bank account, messaging people to say that we have received a new bank payment. So on screen, I'm gonna walk you through that exact zap that I created. So you can see we set up a trigger. Trigger simply means do this when something happens. So it's the first thing that happens. It starts the chain reaction. And the trigger in this case is every time we get a new payment, then start this process. First thing it does is grab the details of that payment from X0, put it into the application. Then I also created a filter. We get a lot of payments from Stripe and we have another way of notifying the team about those. So I didn't need these to come through. This is an additional function that Zapier offers. I'll get more in detail on these in future videos. But for now, it's just a simple filter so that we know Hey, when this happens, don't notify the team, but for everything else, do notify the team. Then it was a case of connecting Slack, and we just said, hey, when we get a new bank transfer, then tell the team in Slack. And it just sends a message to Slack, which again is a communication app that we use. And you can see the details here. So it sends the amount, it'll have a reference and a contact name, and it will notify the team of that payment. 
alignment. As you can see, Zapier is incredibly useful and a very powerful tool. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Zapier. If there are any specific zaps you'd like me to talk about or automations, then do leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, make sure to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.